Hello and welcome to Solène Nitz's uh, Design Inspiration Podcast. If you don't know me, my name is Solène Leroux. I'm a network designer based in Paris. Uh, you can also find me everywhere online at Solène Nitz. Uh, I've been toying with this idea of doing a podcast for a while now and um, I found this, uh, this idea to talk about design inspiration because um, uh, sometimes when I, when I launch uh, a new design, when I release a new, a new design, a new pattern, um, I have so many stories to tell around it that it just doesn't fit into a small pattern blurb or, um, or into even a, a newsletter. So I wanted to have this space to share more uh, knitting stories with you uh, because to me, uh, to me knitting is a, a real form of art and um, as a designer my inspirations come from a variety of sources and uh, and so uh, I wanted to 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 tell you more about that uh, about the the fact that to me knitting is a uh, is about creating memories uh, because we spend a long time uh, making some things for for ourselves knitting knitting one stitch at a time something and uh, and uh, in the end it's a real piece of art that we create uh, with our own two hands and. Uh, and a piece that we will be able to enjoy and to wear uh, every day and to fall in love again uh, every time we wear it. So uh, I think that's all the magic of knitting. And knitting is also something that makes us want to share with, uh, with each other uh, our story and um, our craft. Uh, so uh, to me it's really uh, a very powerful form of art and um, and so that's why also I want to share uh, to share more stories with you and uh, I also want to invite you to share your own story because um, to me it's all about uh, sharing exchanging with each other and uh, and I know that you all have beautiful stories to to tell around your around your knitting pieces and so you can absolutely comment uh, if anything resonates with you in my uh, in the story that I will tell you. You can also uh, we have in my Facebook group the Knitters Rendezvous. We have a, a dedicated thread each Thursday to share our, our knitting story around one piece. So you can absolutely come and share with us. I hope that you I will uh, hear a lot of your stories because they do inspire me every time and. Um, and so my own knitting story uh, started when I learned to knit uh, from my mother when I was a, a child. I was around seven or eight, I think. Uh, we would go to the countryside uh, every year for our family vacation and that's where I learned to knit year after year. Each time she would bring a, a few extra needles and uh, balls of yarns and that's, uh, that's how I, I learned to make little uh, garter stitch square at first and then uh, more uh, <laughs> more complex pieces uh, after a while and um, and so whenever I talk to my mother about knitting uh, she always has such beautiful memories of what she what she made even if it was 20 years ago she remembers uh, very vividly what she was knitting and uh, what she was doing at the time she remembers what she knitted uh, where uh, when we were on vacation where she knitted a one piece she, rem she remembers the movies that she watched she rem she almost remembers how she felt when she was knitting something and I think that's really really beautiful to have those memories around the around the piece that uh, that uh, we that we make and so that's also why I wanted to share with you um, this knitting story so uh, in each episode of this podcast series I will share the story behind one uh, design of mine uh, and uh, so we will start today with a uh, um, one of my latest design, the Garson cardigan, and uh, I will tell you all about uh, how uh, how it came to life, all about my inspiration on this design. So I will talk about uh, 1920s fashion and uh, art deco, but also uh, the kind of yarn that I used. Uh, so there will be a, a wide uh, wide variety of themes uh, that I will talk about uh, in this podcast and I hope that you will enjoy it and that it will inspire you to share your own stories. So the story of Garson Cardigan started over a year ago in October 2016. 
So at the time, um, I still had a day job uh, on top of my uh, designing career and um, I was working at the, the Palais de la Porte Dorée in Paris. It's a museum and, um, and it's also a, a huge uh, art deco uh, and uh, art deco style building. So it's um, really a, a huge and gorgeous building in the art deco and uh, colonial style was built in 1931, if I'm not mistaken, for the uh, colonial exhibition in Paris. Uh, so uh, it's a very, very interesting place, a place of history and uh, and uh, of very interesting architectural details. So I was very inspired by this place. Um, I studied history, so I'm always um, <laughs> inspired by uh, historic uh, buildings. But this one had a uh, really something special. It's a uh, there aren't many uh, many huge art deco buildings in Paris like this one, and it's uh, really not well known. Uh, it's not a very um, uh, very visited museum. Uh, there aren't many tourists. It was pretty quiet. <laughs> the job was pretty quiet, uh, but uh, but I was really really inspired by art deco at the time when I was working there, and uh, and so I had this idea of doing a an art deco inspired collection. Uh, so I started brainstorming it, I did a lot of research, I read some books, um, I also looked into 1920s fashion because of all, that's a period uh, that I've always really loved in fashion. It's very interesting period, a period of change, of, uh, of uh, liberation and, um, and so I did a, a lot of research around that. And, uh, and I came up with uh, with the first idea for Garson Cardigan. So in the end, I didn't do an Art Deco collection. I only did this design and um, I don't regret not doing the, the rest of the collection because I moved on to other projects. But I'm so, so happy to have done this uh, cardigan because it's one of my favorite pieces um, that, I, that I did uh, ever. This cardigan took a, a year to come to life, uh, so uh, I drew the first sketches a, a few months after after I had the collection uh, idea, and um, and uh, I was inspired by uh, some uh, garments details, and uh, because uh, at the time in a nineteen twenties fashion, there were a lot of uh, patterns that used um, uh, the same. The, well, we can find the same patterns on uh, architectural details and on garments, in fact. Uh, even though uh, there weren't uh, many knitted garments because it wasn't really fashionable at the time, they were more using silk and smooth fabrics uh, and not any any knitwear. Um, uh, they preferred fur or big flashy things like that. Uh, but um, but I kind of used the the idea. And the the detail, graphic details that I found on garments and on architectural details to create the the small uh, the small stranded pattern that I put uh, on at the bottom of the of the cardigan. And um, and what I also love about 1920s fashion, as I said, is that it's a it's a great period of uh, liberation for women because uh, at the time so. Uh, right, the the fashion right before was uh, made of corset and um, and like fluffy with a lot of a uh, lot of uh, very complicated in fact garments. And uh, in the twenties, uh, the high fashion really changed. Uh, it became straight lines, so uh, no shaping at all. Very very straight line. Uh, so the uh, the the silhouette was very straight uh, uh, and um, so no it's no shape at all uh, all um, there's a, the Garson look uh, with uh, short hair and straight shapes and uh, it also was uh, a very freeing for women because uh, it's uh, so there was a big sewing boom because uh, suddenly the shapes were very easy to reproduce. So women were able at home to uh, to create their own high fashion uh, garments. Uh, they were able to create uh, uh, dresses and uh, and uh, to dress really really well and really fashionably. And that was something really new 
uh, that allowed women to raise about their condition because they were now able to dress like the high fashion women of Paris. So that's something really, really interesting about the time. And also I think that it's uh, kind of part of our heritage um, as crafters, as knitters, uh, many uh, of you are probably serious to uh, because uh, because uh, they are like uh, these this women who uh, started creating their style to be fashionable uh, so they are kind of uh, our ancestors uh, because we are today are creating our, our style uh, and uh, using our craft to do so so that's something that I found very very inspiring and uh, so I took some ideas of uh, 1920s fashion to to make a garson cardigan so I used the the straight line so there's no no waist shaping and uh, a lot of ease because uh, all, all garments at the time had, had a lot of ease um, so to uh, to be able to move to be uh, comfortable uh, because it's uh, it was really important at the time to have uh, things that were comfortable as opposed to the fashion right before and um, and that's also something that I can resonate to because uh, every time I design um, I design something uh, I want it to be wearable I want it to be something that I can live in all the time and that I can wear over and over and it's the case for my Gaston cardigan it really, it really is my well, it became my favorite cardigan in a very short period of time, and so um, I also reused the the white V-neck because there were a lot of white V-necks uh, at the time, and the contrasting border. And of course, for the colors, I couldn't think of anything else than gold and black because uh, those are the the colors of Art Deco and the colors of of a lot of fashion at the time. So I. I yeah, so I took those colors. I chose yarn um, from La Fefil, uh, because she has a lot of uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, bright and deep tones. Uh, so that's why I, I chose her yarn. And uh, and uh, she had like um, at least uh, three or five uh, types of gold colors to choose from. So it was uh, even a bit overwhelming, but I uh, finally decided on this. Um, so this color is... Uh, a masala and um, and the, the the dark color is a uh, tero. So that's how uh, a bit uh, this uh, this uh, design came to life. So it was a uh, an adaptation of um, of some principles of 1920s fashion, then of uh, an art deco detail that I turned into strengthening. So that's something that I, I really liked. Like, I'm not an expert at all in uh, in fashion or um, or even in art history. I studied it, but I'm not an expert at all. Um, maybe some of those things that I told you today weren't even uh, exact. But uh, I that's what I love about art and using art as an inspiration is that we can take take a few things here and there and make them our own, reinvent them all the time and uh, I think that's what knitting is all about too. So I hope that you enjoyed this story around the Garson cardigan um, and uh, if you have any stories to share uh, around the, around the uh, knitting piece of yours uh, please don't hesitate, uh, you can send, send me emails or comments or, or share them in the in the Facebook uh, group uh, The Nero's Rendezvous. I would love to hear all about them. So thank you so so much for watching and I wish you a very lovely day.